excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? KMB, the Section Ninja, in the place to be for C Plus Studios, and welcome to the New World Podcast, brother. And we're talking about AEW's Dynamite. This show was fucking awesome. From top to bottom, I, I just had a really good time, and I watched uh, this show with my wife, who has kind of like, you know, really just kind of like fell out of the wrestling game, and but she was interested. She watched. She's like, oh, shit. And we watched. How they started the show off with John Moxley versus uh, Hangman Adam Page. Oh, man, that was a slugfest. Hangman Adam Page for the win, but damn. I was like, oh, 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 oh they're killing each other. You know, it, you talk about to start the show off strong because when they're like, oh, we're starting the show with this match. I was like, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah. And I'm glad that uh, Adam Page won. I, I think that's uh, the right move. That was the right call for the booking of that match. I, I just feel that that's where they needed to go, and they delivered. I, I think they delivered hella. They were in, uh, they were in L.A. and uh, Taz, Excalibur, Tony Schiavone, all on, um, all on the uh, commentary. Man, I am losing my mind. I am losing my goddamn mind because it's like eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I got up and I was like, I can't wait to talk about this show. Uh, big return, Adam Cole, baby. Has returned to AEW and he is he's back into full effect. Great promo, a lot of passion about his love for the professional wrestling business, and man, it was just really good to see him. I I was just like fuck yes, give me Adam Cole, baby. And if you have not, he put out a song with uh, Xavier Woods, uh, Tyler Breeze, and uh, Claudio. With the music video as well, and it's up on YouTube, man, and it is it is it is hilarious. Um, we go to Big Bill and uh, Lee uh, Moriarty versus Jungle Hook. <laughs> Get it, Jungle Boy Hook? Uh, this match was this match was dope. I really did enjoy this match. Um, Jungle Hook defeated the Firm. Uh, you know, I I I this Hook guy, this Hook kid. Really is growing on me. And I really love Jungle Boy. So I'm excited to see where this Jungle Hook team is going to go. Where is their next step into the tag team division? Um, so we were getting the starting of this match. Brian Danielson versus uh, uh, Takishita. And this is dude's big. Like, he's tall. I didn't, like He is a monster of a, of a, of a man. And... I, I was really looking forward to this match to see how it's going to go. Then MJF interrupted. Great MJF promo. Great bagging on everybody because they're in Los Angeles. He starts ragging on celebrities and everything like that in the crowd. And being MJF to the fullest. And saying like, hey, fuck you if you don't think I can hang with uh, Brian Danielson. Um, but this match, though, this match was awesome. Like, after MJF did his thing and he, he ran out of the arena, these two went to war with each other. And uh, Brian Danielson win, but these two were chopping, slapping. Like, this match was like, holy shit. You know, I I, I was I was like, oh, my God. Look at their chest. are all red and stuff like that. I was like, damn. I, I really want to rewatch this match again. Like, I, I really want to rewatch this match because I enjoyed it to the fucking fullest. And I was just like, damn, this show can't get any better, right? Oh, yes, it does. Uh, Soraya and Tony Storm versus Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter. Um, this this was also a match that I felt was really, really fucking fun. I, like I said, the whole show was just like on the edge of my seat. And that crowd was like, I, I, I was like, I was on edge. And after a Raw, that was kind of like, yeah. You know, all right, all right, all right. but this one had my attention the whole goddamn time. I was just like, okay, just give me more of this. Just give me more AE dub, AE dub. And I think after all this craziness with WWE, Saudi Arabia, all this shit, you know, this was just a fun night just to not think about that crap and just have fun. Um, Baker and Hater defeated Sor uh, Soraya and Tony Storm. So, like I said, fun match. And I think we're going to see it escalate more. 
We had the Jericho Appreciation Society come out. It was all right. This this was all right. <laughs> um, Ricky Starks came out and stuff like that. But uh, the Jericho Appreciation Society. This, 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 I like the sequence jackets they wore. You know, they went out there and. It was it was funny because they're all in sync and stuff like that. But I I, I like the JAS uh, to a certain point. But this the meats and potatoes, the elite versus death triangle, the best of the seven series uh, match seven, the go home. Let's take it home. Let's get the oh ladder match for the trios championship. Man, I. Like the anticipation with everything, and from starting off the show real strong with Moxley and Hangman Adam Page, then having the matches with Brian, uh, Brian Danielson, and then being like, "Oh my God, we we still got the main event. We still have the main event, Death Triangle and the Elite." Uh, my wife was really like, "Holy shit!" So this is what's going on over here. I'm like, "Yeah, this 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 is what's going on on this side of the thing." Like. She goes, oh, she goes, I, she goes, I'm so bored with WWE. She goes, I, I want to see this. I want to see some wrestling, you know? And I'm like, God damn right, we're going to see some wrestling. She's so going to see some great spots. We're going to see some great passion. And this match delivered the elite, baby. They won. And I, I was on the edge of my seat. Like, really, really was on the edge of my seat to where if I, I scooted just, just a teeny bit, I probably would have fell off my chair and probably broke my tailbone like I did back in the day because my my I, my floor is pretty hard. And I'd be like, God damn it, I broke my tailbone, but I don't give a fuck because this match is the shit. Um, great show. I, I, I had a really great time. Um, and I'm really digging. I'm really digging the stage. I'm really digging the stage. And they changed the barricades on the outside, too. So Tony Khan, hats off, man! Great show. I, like I said, I had a good time. I give the show a solid five out of five, because I was entertained for a good solid, you know, for the two hour run of the show, which is an hour thirty minutes because of commercials and stuff like that. And you know, I, I, my love for professional wrestling always gets reignited with AEW. You know, sometimes when I watch WWE, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more invested in storylines than anything. You know, I mean, there's storylines with AEW that I do, that I do invest in, but I'm more invested in like the overall picture and story of WWE, you know, like where we're going, the theatrics and stuff like that. And, you know, with Uncle Howdy and, but this is just, it, I've stated this before and I'll state it again, man. I, I come to the AEW for the wrestling. And I get the wrestling. And I'm saying what the hard R, wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what all elite wrestling is. You know, they, they don't always hit the mark uh, with some shows and booking and stuff like that. Because their roster's so fucking stacked. And now that Adam Cole's in it, I don't know where Adam Cole's going to fit into into this. You know, they're not like WWE where you're like, okay, we got two, we got two championships, two this, two that, two that, that... That they're soon about to split, maybe take off Roman Reigns, or clearly the Raw Tag Team Championships. But with this, it's just like there's a mountaintop. There really is a mountaintop, and right now that's MJF, my 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 other inner spirit animal. My my you know, <laughs> uh, Otis is my outside appearance of a spirit animal, but my confidence comes like MJF, man. And I I had a damn good time with the show. Five out of five. Tell me what you thought. Well, what was your favorite match? I think. Um, uh, the best, all of it was good. Like I can't, I can't really pick that because I really want to rewatch this. That's how good this AEW was. I'm like, I gotta rewatch it. all these matches and just have a good time. And the fact that my wife was even like, "Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, oh shit, oh, you know, it, it, it was dope. It was just a dope night, just to sit down, kick back, relax, you know, and watch and watch this show. I, I hats off to Tony. Hats off to Tony, man. So tell me what you thought. What was your highs? What was your lows? What you love? What you hate? Um, for AEW Dynamite, how are you digging the new stage? I'm the stage is beautiful. Mwah. So after that, like and subscribe, share with your grandma, share with your grandpa, share with the bomb down at Walmart. I am KMB, the sexy ninja, and as always, the New World Podcast is for life. Konnichiwa, bud. What's up? How's it going? Your name's on the tip of my tongue. I believe it's Take a Shitta. Well, do me a favor, bud. 
Try not to take one in your pants tonight. I really need you to win this match.